Welcome back to the Surf and Turf Podcast, Welcome baby. Welcome to the Surf and Turf Podcast, baby. How's everyone doing today? How are you today, Jimmy? Tell me on a scale of 1 to 11, how are you doing today? Uh, 7.5. Wait, really? What's up with your mic? What do you mean? Your mic sounds weird. Why does it sound weird? What do you mean it sounds weird? It just sounds off. Are you messing with me? <laughs> How off? Like, does it sound? That was good. That was good. What did it sound like before? It just sound like mumble or like staticky. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. Well, welcome back to the Surf and Turf podcast. Jimmy, how was your week? The first good, week buddy. after Christmas, well, after the New Year's 2023, welcome back. How, uh, any advice on, on how to live 2023 to your fullest? Just to sum up the last podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nothing i totally put you on the spot here we didn't just you're just like yeah i don't know i mean i've just don't live you know, i've started started this year being like more productive of like i've got like a schedule that i'm following like every day of like you know in the more like just to keep myself more organized and cleanliness like you know in the morning i do this in the evening i do this on Mondays, what do I do on Mondays? On Mondays, you wear pink. No, on like Tuesdays, on Tuesdays, I clean the bathroom. On Wednesdays, I vacuum. No, that makes sense. I have a schedule like that, but the hardest part is actually doing it. Like, I seriously, that's like yeah. literally the hardest and part. It's been, it's been nice because it's like, like in the past, I've let it like all go and like had to do like all in like one day. <laughs> No, so it's been that. nice, like you know, how long does it really like the bathroom someone takes the longest, but how long does that really take? Like a half hour? A half hour to clean your bathroom, dog. Like at the most. What? What are you doing in there? That okay, takes like 20 it. minutes. Like 15, dog. Yeah. Like I mean, unless we'll you're going to the shower. Unless you're taking like some big old dookies in there and like your toilet's like actually brown. I, you know, like, nah. <laughs> Thirty minutes to clean up. Like, okay, this is off on a tangent, but like, no. The, the what takes longest is the shower. Okay, the shower does take mad long. You're right. Cleaning, That's, like you know, the toilet and like the sink, probably like ten minutes. Yeah, you're probably okay. Twenty minutes probably is actually a good reflection because. You, you're right. You're right. The shower does take forever. And it's weird because you'd think the shower is the cleanest because that's where you go to get clean. Yeah, but, it, and I got like a shower, like, and a tub thing. So it's like, <laughs> what? Someone looking in? Someone, uh. No, sorry. <laughs> There's a window here and a window there. And so out of the corner of my eye, I saw, there was, and there's a road that runs right here. So out of the corner of my eye, I saw a car. And it made... Nah, like dude, right I now. get that. And, like, it caught my attention, my ADD attention, and then I wanted to see them out the window, see nah, who dude, it was. You're good. I, we have the same thing. We have, like, a, a grill right outside our back door, and it has, like, a, you know, like, cover on it. Flaps in the wind every once in a while. And my wife looked out one, you know, we happened to look out. Oh, you know, it's just a grill. One time she looked out and there's just a stray cat just like looking in our window, just like, hey, hey guys, how's, let me in, please. And ever now I'm just like, rip. Now, I literally, I, what? What? Sorry, I'm, get, I'm getting paged by a producer. Um, what? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Why am I getting paid for the finisher? Hello? Yeah? <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing's there. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I don't know. For for some reason, <laughs> I thought I heard something. Like, I was like, what the heck is going on? Anyways. So speaking of keeping things clean, were you vacuuming earlier? No, <laughs> dude. Okay, so <laughs> the cat's litter box is like right... Like, it's like right there-ish. 
So okay. like it, we gotta we gotta keep the vacuum down here so that we can um easily vacuum. Gotcha. So yeah, that's a thing. But <laughs> now it, it it makes it a little easier. We ha- okay. We have two vacuums. Leave us alone. We got a big house, so we have two vacuums, and we technically so do I. You have two vacuums. I have a vacuum in a Roomba. Oh. Interesting. But I had the vacuum and I was given a Roomba. And, well, that makes sense. Plus, like, you still need a vacuum when you get a Roomba. That's true. Okay, well, if it's not obvious that why <laughs> <laughs> something about vacuums. Okay, I'm sorry. We had, to, we, had to, we had to stop the video because my wife is butt naked down here, and she's like, I gotta pee, I gotta pee! And, I mean, you would have seen her in the camera, like, running back there, and Jimmy had to wipe some tears from his eyes because he literally died when I stopped, so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> vacuums, right? Vacuums, am I right? Vacuums, am I right? Uh, so, what are we gonna talk about this podcast? You know, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on in the world. Wait, hold on. I, I swear... Was, I- Go ahead. I was about to make a transition. I was like, in my laughing mood, I cannot switch that serious topic right now. <laughs> well, so no, but we'll kind of go in there. I don't know why, but this week has just seemed like there's been so much tragedy. Like so literally news. every well, not even just that, like every day I feel like I've seen either a fire truck, an ambulance or the combination of the two, like just fly by me. I'm like, I'm like, is the world ending this week? Like, it just seems like, oh my gosh. Like, I told my wife, like, the first day I went back to work, I literally saw an ambulance, a fire truck, and a police officer just on my way to work different at different occasions. So, like, they weren't going to the same place. But I was mm-hmm. just like, what is going on here? And then on the way home, I saw another ambulance. I was like, what the heck? And then this week I saw at least two more and a fire truck. Dude, like, it, do people just want to make it to 2023 and then die? Like, come on. <laughs> maybe, not the, maybe not the best thing to say out loud, but dang, bro. Yeah, and... I feel you. I feel you. And then there's the whole Demar Hamlin stuff. Yeah. Um... I'm sure you guys have heard, but Monday night there was um, a scary moment where Demar Hamlin um, tackled T. Higgins and kind of like the way he tackled him, T. Higgins hit him in the chest. He fell, or he got they got up, and then he just imme- did. You see the video? Oh yeah, dude. It's- it's crazy he because like he looks dropped. fine for like a second and then he just like drops. Yeah, it's scary. And like I didn't watch it live, but like I heard that like you saw like the ambulance run out and immediately just give him CPR. Yeah, oh my and gosh. My, my grandma was saying like that my grandma was like a nurse, so she was like uh like to help, like really looking into it and stuff. So she she said that they were saying that if they didn't give him CPR at the moment. He probably would have died. That's kind of like what Dang, saved That's him. crazy. Didn't they give him like CPR for like nine minutes or something? I don't know. Something but crazy like that. Then there's the whole controversy of ESPN. We started talking about this, you and me. Oh, and we yes. Different. We, we both have heard two different stories of what the NFL wanted to do. And I did some research about it. ESPN is saying what you are saying, oh. which was ESPN. Um, one of the commentators said that they were coming. That he was told. He said on the broadcast that they were going. That they were coming out to warm up. They're warming. And up, like, someone did again, come yeah. up and they were stretching and like was stretching and warming up. Someone else like gave like a. There's like a video of someone else giving like a like a hype up speech. And ESPN says that the NFL said that they were going to resume the game. The NFL says we were never going to resume the game. We were going to stop the game and see what we're going to do about it later. We never planned on resuming the game. So now there's a fight between the NFL and ESPN over what they were actually going to do. So no one really <laughs> knows. 
but it kind of seems like I'm kind of like on the side of you know what they were gonna resume the game and then they got backlash and but they don't they they want to make it look like they weren't gonna. Resume oh my the gosh! Game. Yeah, because <laughs> that's like like canceled. Like what? Like a dude almost died and you're like, okay, yeah, let's let's just keep playing, guys. Yeah, yeah, no issues. Yeah, like, but <sighs> go ahead. Um, it's also just been kind of like cool. That like um uh he or like the outpour of everyone. Did you see like his charity? Oh yeah, that's pretty lit. Everyone started just donating to his charity. Um he the, came to yesterday. The charity or the GoFundMe? Or no, is... he he runs a charity that like gives toys to, like on like needy kids oh okay that must have been the same thing gotcha gotcha but um so but he came to yesterday and they said they said that the first thing he said was did we win oh my gosh and the doctor said you won you won your life yeah geez like Breath. um you won the fact that you're still breathing and i just saw a report this morning that he is breathing on his own. That's good. And it looks like he's going to make it. And so that's good. Um, he's... Prayers. Go ahead. To, I know everyone's been saying this right now, but as you guys know, like we're both Christian, pretty strong Christians and stuff. Um, so truthfully prayers to him, his family and T Higgins. I've heard so much from him of like, he's been getting so much hate and like, for what? Oh yeah, he didn't he, do anything. He got tackled. Yeah. Like it was a freak accident. He was not trying to kill the guy. Heck no. Um, oh my god. But people were like giving him hate, and I'm sure his mental is so messed up. Oh my gosh, yeah. You know. Real like, note. His head is what hit the guy's chest. Yeah. And caused it. Now, was it his fault? No. It no. was it's football. That's what happens. Um but so prayers for him and his family. And oh, he yeah, said that definitely. Demar's mom's been like contacting him, reaching out. And I just have been seeing so many people like the guy on ESPN just straight prayed. He just prayed wow. for him. So it's been kind of cool. That is kind of with cool. that. And then I don't know if you've been keeping up with the whole Logan Paul thing. Oh yeah. With and the... his like kind of response yesterday was kind of cool. Oh, or Tuesday. Dude. Yeah, I'm not thinking of the same thing. What are you thinking of? I was thinking of him and what's his name? George? Yeah. Is that the same thing? Yeah, he apologized. Logan Paul came out and apologized yesterday. Oh, well, that's good. Or Tuesday. Yeah, I didn't see that. I watched it yesterday. Rip. But yeah, if you don't know about that, is Logan Paul kind of like destroyed, started yelling at George for his like beliefs and for like being a Christian and said some pretty terrible things. And it was kind of cool, like, Logan Paul's the one who got canceled. <laughs> yeah. You know, for the th way he was treating yeah. George. Um, but then I don't know. I didn't really know this either until I watched the podcast. Um, I had seen something on TikTok about it, but Logan Paul got canceled for something else too. Um, Bro, he, he always getting canceled. Huh? He always getting canceled. Everyone's getting canceled. Yeah, but he got exposed for a crypto scam. Oh, yes, I did see that. And so he had his response of it, and it seemed like he got scammed Oh, over the whole thing. It's possible, yeah. Was, he's making out to be, and he had a lot of, like, pretty hard proof and stuff. Um, but so then they, they addressed that, and then he they addressed it, they addressed George and all that stuff, and they made up, and, like, it was, it was really cool to watch. Um, yeah. There's language in it, so I'm not telling you to go watch it but it was good it was nice and heartfelt very yeah. very heartfelt Strange. yeah but so what else? oh speaking of jake or logan paul wait hold on hold on before we oh. transition back to the football thing uh yeah the guy that got injured in your professional opinion because you are one of the most knowledgeable people i know in in football actually <laughs> i'm not even joking <laughs> Uh, do you think he'll ever play again? I don't watch. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch sports. Says the kid, literally all the the jerseys in the back. There is a Pittsburgh there. Oh yeah, 
I was gonna say they're just bas- basketball, but you do got a Pittsburgh, you got a Steelers hoodie on, yeah. And then that uh, that's soccer. No, that's football, dude. Um, that's say foot. But and you think cover? Oh sports. my gosh, you don't watch sports, yeah. Um, I don't watch sports exactly. Do you think he'll play ever again? I mean. That's tough to say, um, because we've seen people come back from pretty bad injuries, and like it's the point of does he want to play again? That's you know, true. Like, yeah. and probably not. You know, with his if, like if he has a heart condition, you that's know? true. Yeah, if it's like we've seen people get like concussions and stuff. Oh and yeah, like, like simple injuries. Well, pretty bad concussion. Oh, well, like true, yeah. Broken like legs with like the bone sticking out of their body. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. We've seen them come out from that, but like, it all it just depends on. I don't think so because like, if all if his heart is if he has his heart condition that if he gets hit he's gonna have an issue. Yeah, there you can't take that risk again. That's true. Yeah, and the you, mental you, dude, the mental toll. And just going wh- through all well, this, and like, like, will he want to go back out? Ah, that's again? true. Like, I'm sure will he, he want will. To? I'm sure he would love to go play, but like, the last time he was on the field, he almost died. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's that is scary to think about. Like, if you went into work and almost died at work, would you want to go in the next day? Nah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> that's true. Um, that's true. I mean, and shout out to our military who do that every day. That's true. But, um so yeah i i don't know i think I, it's so it, the bigger question well the nfl has decided to cancel the game completely now they're not making it up so how does that they just one less game on their record well i don't know what they're calling it but this game had huge playoff i was gonna say didn't this this was a big game actually like if it was like a game that didn't really matter for playoffs yeah cancel it Sure, and, and I'm like, yeah, they probably should have canceled it, you know. Yeah, and they can't. They couldn't have played it that night, and now it's like you're not gonna make them fly like the Bills players who just watched their teammate like almost die. They flew back to Buffalo. They're gonna make them fly back to Cincinnati to play this game. But the Bills were playing for the number one spot. They needed to win both their last games to get the number one spot. And which would mean that they would have home field advantage for the whole playoffs and a bye. Yeah. So the Bills were playing for a bye. Um, which was a big thing. And the Bengals were playing for home field advantage. And they were playing for home field advantage if they ever meet again. Um, That's true. And they, if the Bills win the first week, they're not getting the bye. But if they win, they're playing the Chiefs at a neutral location. But if they win again and the Bengals win again and they meet each other in the playoffs. They're playing in Buffalo, which if the Bill if the Bengals would have won, then that game would have been in Cincinnati. So mm-hmm. it's like I think you play that at a neutral location. I think you played in Pittsburgh. Oh honestly. No, not because I'm a Steelers fan, <laughs> but it's in the middle. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. It's close enough for Cincinnati fans to come and Bengal fan or and uh, Buffalo, yeah. Buffalo fans to come. That's you true. Know? Fa- okay. It's it's the one that's most like that most in the sense. middle. Not just because I'm a Steelers <laughs> fan. Like, I, just I so I could go. <laughs> no, nah, you think I got that money? Fair enough. Okay. I wouldn't even go through the Steelers. That's true. Okay, Logan Paul. What about him? Oh. So we're done with uh I think so all yeah. of that that Jake Paul Jakey uh, boy we were gonna go into Jakey boy going to the MMA you gonna start fighting the MMA okay first of all do you think he did this just because he's like Logan's making move with WWE like I want to try to do like mm, I think this has more to do with his beef with Dana White. Okay, I, that was my second guess because <laughs> him and Dana White are just. And his big thing oh on Dana gosh. White is like that, and the UFC is that is fighter pay. Yeah, and so he is making another. He's starting this other. Well, 
this league already exists, but he's making a pay per view division, and he's going to really like push fighters. Yeah. Um. So I I think this is more to rival the UFC. He's trying to rival the UFC, and he started this organization that helps get like UFC fighters health care and. Uh, equal actually, pair and rightful pay and stuff. So I think this is just him that's actually trying cool. to help out combat yeah. sports. And, you know, people keep saying, oh, yeah, like, yeah, you keep fighting UFC fighters. Well, he's like, why not go f- fight the MMA? And he's always wanted to try, like, when the whole KSI thing started and boxing started, he was like, I, I want to fight MMA. I want to fight MMA. But no one want no YouTuber wanted to fight MMA, so he did boxing. So I think he's like, I think he's gotten to the point in boxing where there's not much realistic moving up. You know, that makes sense. Point. Like that makes sense. Like, yeah, no, he's it does. called out like What's big name? names, but I, I think, and I think he's one of the big fights he's trying to do is Nate Diaz. I think the best way he's going to get Nate Diaz is Nate Diaz wants to do MMA. Yeah, and so I think, and so he's offered Nate Diaz a two deal fight or two fight deal where he'll fight on boxing and then fight on MMA. (laughs) And it'll be interesting to see. It'll be very. I'm. I'll be watching. Is it going to be a co match, or is it going to be separate matches? Like are they are they gonna box for a minute and then MMA for a minute? Well, get this: in between, they're gonna play chess. Oh my! <laughs> in between, they're gonna play chess. <laughs> no, uh, it'll be a boxing match, and then like months later, they'll fight you know, in the octagon. MMA. In the octagon, or Jake Paul? I'm sure Jake Paul is gonna have some warm up fights. Oh yeah, he goes in there his first fight fights. MMA with Nate Diaz. That's true. Cool. That's fair. I don't blame you. Yeah, they're making moves. They're making, and it's cool to see them like make moves outside of YouTube and like just creators in general just make moves outside of YouTube. I always think yeah, it's a good not idea. Really YouTubers, you can't really call them YouTubers anymore. They don't really post. Uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. Like Logan. Maybe you could call him a podcaster. A podcaster, nah, dude. It's all deals. They, yeah, you're right. They make their money from deals now. Well, and and like Jake Paul, he posts on YouTube and it's just like promoting his fights, basically, <laughs> or calling people out. You know, or, or, yeah. I would probably say Logan Paul's a podcast entrepreneur, mm-hmm. and Jake Paul's a boxer entrepreneur. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's where they're making their money, and yeah, they came up from like you call them a YouTuber, then you gotta call them a Viner because that's where they started. That's true. You that is true. Call you don't you don't call you don't call them oh yeah Logan Paul that Vine star. Well, he <laughs> is, but that Vine star. <laughs> but oh, he moved man. on to YouTube, and now he's moving on to like wrestling prime, um. Yes. Prime. And it's podcast. Podcast. Yeah. That... Oh, crypto investments. Apparently, he's going to be at the Royal Rumble. We'll see. He's really? going to be an entrance. Apparently. Apparently. We'll see. We'll see. Interesting. Hey, I started my 3D print of that Blastoise for my bidet. No way. I did. Yeah. I got to get it next week. So Yo, I gotta see a video of it. Well, I'll show it off on the podcast. Yo, let me tell you, last last week we were talking about Pokemon for like, I, and I didn't even bring this up, and I think it's because I kind of forgot about it. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon. I and I love Pokemon. Pokemon is literally. I need to get back into playing. I I always I'm literally always playing on Pokemon. Pokemon stuff. Oh my gosh, I don't have Pokemon stuff. Uh oh, oh crap. <laughs> Just cut with him. I don't know Pokemon. Oh my gosh, this guy. I I've always said it. I play at least one game all the time. Like either Pokemon Go, uh TCG like online, like the online game. Scarlet I've, I've been playing a lot of Scarlet. Um but dude, 
the freaking anime, bro, is not going to have Ash Ketchum anymore. Or Pikachu! Or- yeah, dude, Pikachu is straight gone, bro. I, I heard a very interesting take. Go ahead. Well, I'll let you finish your top ta- your thought. That's it, bro. I'm 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 upset. Have you seen the new characters? I have. Yeah. Have you seen her headband? Isn't it like he she's the kid of like Ash and someone else? People are thinking that that he she's the Ash's kid. And he's it's gonna possible. be an older person and he's not gonna be the main character, but they also could see um Pikachu coming back as like an old old guy. An old guy? Like, huh? What? An old guy? Like an like or maybe even Riot like he finally evolves to Raichu. Oh yeah. I and he comes that. back to like help her and help her with things. Sorry, my butt's itchy. Go ahead. Um that was it. That was I it. Got, I, I listened to a podcast that they talked about that. I was like, ah. I'm not gonna lie. I never really watch. I never really. I wasn't allowed to watch Pokemon as a kid. I was just about to say that. I don't think I ever really watched. I I did every once in a while, but I never watched it religiously. I watched it on Netflix. The the latest, the Pokemon Journeys. I did watch that on Netflix when I was working yeah. from home. When um, I get Netflix again here in a month or two. I plan on trying to watch some of that. It see the thing that I liked about the most recent series is because the guy with him go is like his like partner, like not, okay, not his partner, but like you know, like his sidekick in 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 the show, and he's actually trying to like catch all the Pokemon, which is like a big thing in the game. Like in the games, you know, you want to try to catch all the Pokemon and see all the Pokemon to complete your Pokedex, yeah. and. That's never been represented in the show before, and it's kind of cool to see that actually being represented as someone trying to do that. But yeah, mm-hmm. I never really watched the show either. But like, even the stigma of like Saturday morning cartoons, I never remember watching cartoons on Saturday morning. No, we were talking about this before the podcast, and like, because I was talking about like I never really watched much cartoons, and you're like, what did you watch? And I'd said like. Saturday mornings, we, me and my brother would get up before and my mom would always sleep in. And me and my brother would get up, we'd go out to the living room. My dad would have some coffee. He let us each have like a little bit of coffee, like <laughs> a little bit of coffee, like because we were kids, you know. Oh yeah. And we would sit. He put in a mug, like just like that, and watch in the mug or whatever. And we sit in the living room and we'd watch this old house and drink coffee, which is. And my mom would get up. We'd have breakfast, and then we would go outside. You know. Yeah. This old um, house. What is that? It's like it was like people like showing about like building a house, and, like different <laughs> tricks of like how to. It it was like the most like old guy show ever. <laughs> oh my gosh! It was like yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> Why we did you watch it? Watch. Just because your dad uh, liked it? Yeah. Okay, and so we, and we call it man time, you but, know. Like we sit there drink coffee and watch people build a house, you know. But, but the thing about it is, like, and I no no shame on your dad, but your dad is not uh, like he doesn't strike me as a handyman. He's not <laughs> exactly. Just over Christmas, I was sitting there with him, and we were watching someone build a cabin, <laughs> um, a dugout <laughs> cabin. And like me and him both like watching these things, and the reason he gave is he goes, "These are things I wish I was good at. Oh. I wish I would be was good enough to go do this, and I wish I had the skill to do this, but I know I'm not." That makes I enjoy sense. Watching people who are good at it do it. No, that makes sense. Hmm. Like w- one of my favorite YouTubers, he says, "Like no one knows about him unless you're in like it's a very niche YouTuber." He's called AO Fishing. Oh, and yeah. Like I said, I got really into fishing. Yeah. And so he's my favorite fishing YouTuber. Um, he has under a million subscribers. Go f- subscribe. If you like outdoor stuff, or like this type of stuff, go f- follow him. He's hilarious. He's family friendly. Perfect. Um, Perfect. Huh? Perfect. And he, um, he is doing this series where he bought this, like, houseboat that was like all rotted and 
he doesn't even know like what he's doing. Oh my and gosh. He's restoring it. And then he finally went to like a fiberglass shop and he's been doing this for like over a year. And so I found him and I told my dad about him and my dad forgot that I told him about him. Then my dad was like, oh, I've been watching this guy restore. And I never told my dad the guy's name. And then my dad was like, I've been watching this guy restore a houseboat. And I went, <laughs> how many people are doing it? So what's his name? My dad was like, oh, I don't remember. I was like, is it Ao? And he was like, oh, that sounds right. And I was like, is it called the Itty Bitty? And he was like, you watch him? And I said, <laughs> dad, I've been watching him for like, I told you, I watched him um, over the summer and I was telling you about him. And he was like, oh, really? So now every time like a video comes out, me and my dad like text each other like, yo, you watch this video? Oh my gosh. And he dropped the itty bitty video like the day after I came back from v- vacation. And I was like, I texted my dad. I was like, why couldn't he have posted this while we were together? But like things like that, we enjoy watching. And so... And we started watching this old house. I I've been watching this guy on YouTube, who he bought a um old missile silo from like, like oh I've seen the those Cold, yeah Cold War and yeah. he is uh turning it into like uh like shelter like a underground like a zombie apocalypse like bunker shelter. yeah yeah dang I've seen those. Well, yeah, I got lots of so yeah, but going back to cartoons, you know, my parents were really strict about what we were allowed to watch and like what we weren't though. <laughs> what did you watch when you got home from school? <laughs> <laughs> every day when we got home, we watched a lot of PBS, and every day we get, I'd rush home from school to get home in time to watch the Cosby Show. <laughs> But the show was good, and we didn't know he was what he is. Okay, but the funny thing is, is because of the Disney Channel thing. That's what makes it even funnier. But, like, you're right. Oh, yeah, we weren't allowed to watch Disney Channel because my dad thought, um... (laughs) And he's right. He is right. All Disney Channel shows, the dad's either not there or an idiot. You're right. Or both. Yeah, um, and the kids walk all over the mom and our, and the dad. Yeah, and they I agree. fight with each other. And my dad, we used to watch, we used to watch Sweet Life with Zach and Cody all the time. My dad was like, "They fight." You guys started fighting like Zach and Cody, so you're not allowed to watch that show anymore. I, I, um, I think that's a and good. And they started talking to us the way they talked to their mom, and you're not so. Yeah, we weren't allowed to watch it because of the way it portrayed the parents. And so instead, we watched a wholesome show with a dad who's a great dad <laughs> named Bill Cosby. <laughs> we didn't know what he was. He was portrayed to be a good guy in that show. Of course. He was a great dad in the show. The actor, <laughs> the actor Mr. Cosby, was a great guy. That's funny. Yeah, or dude. Like the the character, the character, the actor was not a great guy. Oh well, yeah. The character, the character, was, the a character good guy. was good. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, dude. We I watched a lot of cartoons growing up all the time. Like that yeah. was like one of the biggest things I I grew up in. In fashion, I think uh, this is gonna segue us into the most terrible, most um, pre-planned thing ever that we are gonna do. A. Wait. Oh, I heard that. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna do some surf versus turf, baby. Uh, it's surf versus turf. Oh, get it? Because we're like surf and turf podcast. Surf versus turf. So I'm surfing. Yeah, I'm turfing. Surfing? I guess I just stay still. I don't know <laughs> what. Drive my lawnmower. I don't know. Uh. So, we're going to do a five-person draft, right? Five people? Yeah. Or five shows. Best cartoon of all time. I see Jimmy warming up his uh, rock, paper, scissors hand. Um, cartoons. Again. What, like, what else do we need? So yeah, we, we had a little discussion of what counts as cartoon. We were pretty much animated. Yes. Like, we threw out... Austin was talking about, or Chicken was talking about, uh, uh Chicken Austin, yeah, uh, Power Rangers that they weren't really cartoons, but like that was like Saturday morning. 
Yeah. Oh and I said, I said Muppets, but they're like puppets. They're not really cartoons. But let's and go. We, and we just did TV shows because for a second I thought if we were gonna do like movies and stuff, I thought you'd throw in the Veggie Tales. And I was like, that'd be a good one if it was like if we were gonna include that. Oh no, no! You want to already write that down? Wait, was those movies or TV shows? They were movies, but they were half hour episodes. Ah, okay. Like you bought them on movies, but they were like a TV. Some of them were movies, but some of them were TV. We'll pretend like I didn't just say that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Let me cross. Literally the fourth thing on here. Veggie oh Tales. no! That was one I thought you weren't gonna take. Were they ever on cable? I feel like I have to Google that. They were on Netflix. Oh yeah. Netflix I, bought them and then turned them not Christian. Really? And I watched one episode and they were like terrible. It was just like about like good morals and not like Bible stories. Interesting. I don't think I've ever knew that. It was called like Veggies in the House. Interesting. You ready? <laughs> this is the, this is gonna be bad because we have ready? a delay. I think. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No. Rock, paper, <laughs> scissor, shoot. Oh no! <laughs> Rip. Okay. But my first overall pick is a cartoon so great that I've never even seen it. <laughs> but I know it. It's the most memed thing ever. Oh my there gosh. There are so many gifts from it and so many references that I understand and I never even watched the show because everyone talks about it and it is SpongeBob, baby. Dang. That is a good first one. I'm not going to lie. That was, uh, we already talked about this. That was, that, that's, when you think of cartoons, like, that's like your Michael Jordan of cartoons. Like, seriously, like, the Michael Jordan of is cartoons it? right there. Oh, easily. You don't think? Okay. You really don't think? Draft. Okay, well, my number one pick is going to be the Scotty Pippen of cartoons, bro. I'm going with my boy, Fairly Odd Parents. That was one of my favorites. And I'm telling you, dude, it's the Scotty Pippen. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy. That's a good show. That's a good show. This is Scotty Pippen, baby. Go ahead. Number two. The real Michael Jordan of cartoons. The Looney Tunes, baby! Oh, that was a good one. Oh my gosh. Michael, literally! Dang, bro. Literally! Bro, I feel like you already beat me. I don't even know if we should keep going. The Looney Tunes, baby! Oh, no. Oh, so, no. I thought for sure you were going to take it. when Because you said, I thought I was going to give it away. When you said Michael Jordan, I went. Nah, and dude. And I was like, do Dang. I go and grab it now? Or that was a I good one. Huh? That was a good one. Yeah, and specific, uh, it's not a movie, we can't do movies, but specifically Space Jam, let's be real. Yeah, the Looney Tunes, dude, I didn't even think about them. Damn, I didn't bro. think about our parents. I can't either. I think I'm going more, I think, yeah. You're going more like OGs, I think I'm going more like ones that I just watched, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, like we, I, like I said, I watched like OG Ooh. stuff as a kid, you know? Yeah, dang. I watch Looney Tunes. I love Looney Tunes. Okay, I'm going with for my number two pick. Wabbit season. What'd you say? It's a wabbit season. I'm going with my number two pick. Maybe not the right animals, but different animals. I'm going with my boys, Tom and Jerry. Ah. That is a classic, bro. No words, but all all the vibes. Okay, this, <laughs> this one, guy's think... straight writing stuff down. Well, I'm crossing things off. I have I have a list. I'm not gonna give it away too much, but I have a list. 
of uh, okay. of cartoons that I made this up beforehand. But the third one, this one you might throw flag on the play. You might say they're not a cartoon. But and I wasn't sure I was gonna take this early, but I kind of wanted to take it just to like because my last two are, are so off the wall that I'm taking here. I'm taking Avatar. I yeah, we'll, the we'll call that. Yeah, we'll we'll call we, the, the idea you brought the when you brought this to me, you were talking about Pokemon. Yeah. But is that is that a cartoon or is that an anime? No, it's it's definitely a cartoon. It's not anime. So no. I can have, I can have Avatar. One hundred percent, yes. So I have SpongeBob, Looney Tunes, and Avatar. Yeah, Avatar is like one of Avatar is like the bridge between like cartoon and anime, which I it, it is a cartoon. One hundred percent, one hundred percent is a cartoon. Um, and I feel like that's the bridge between like where you kind of go as like a kid, like it's kind of like the adult, you know. It, it is, like it is. Cartoon. Dang, that is a Without good one. Getting into like, oh, do we go there? What? No more. See, like to me, like, and I didn't even with think it over, was all over everyone's TikToks. Technically, a cartoon. All over everyone's TikTok. Yeah, I, I guess you're gonna throw, take I don't it. Know if throw them in. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, no, I definitely a cartoon, and I didn't even think about that as like a border. Like maybe not the maybe not a good watch, maybe not like a super watched cartoon, but like the stride that it made in cartoons is big. If that makes sense. No, yeah, and it's like what you watch is like a teenager. Is like oh adult, yeah, of course. You know? Okay, my number three, I'd like to bring out the artists, Michelangelo, Raphael, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, baby! They were on my list, they were on my list. I never Do really I watched them growing up, but I uh, every once in a while. Do I do it? Hmm, scratching his head, man. He's about... Is, is he going to make one of those do I bold go, decisions? Do I keep a meme? Maybe. Or do I go... Or do I go for the crown? For the crown. And I don't even know if this... This would open up a whole new section. And I don't know if I go it or its older brother. Do I it do I go Family Guy here? Or Simpsons? Like are those really oh. Nah Dang. We're gonna bomb the builder <laughs> Can he build Yes he can What? You literally went like full spectrum. <laughs> you went from literally full adult, like grown man going to work nine to five <laughs> to like a tiny little baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> So, can I get a yes, we can. Can he build it? Yes, he can. Uh, that, was a... that was my favorite show where they could do I loved Bob the Builder. Wait, so is is Family Guy Simpsons, that was what you just thought of? Like, just just now? Yeah, it's all over TikTok right now, it's Family Guy. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I, I think for this one, we're going to keep it as, like, kids' cartoons. So. yeah. But I mean, Simpsons or oh my gosh! Like when you think of cartoons, maybe a, maybe beat out SpongeBob. Oh my gosh! I think Simpsons and SpongeBob could go like head to head easily. Yeah, and Family Guy in there too. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. But I thought it was funny to like to like make you think I'm going there and just throw up Bob the Builder. Oh. Bob the Builder's good, dude. I um, like it. 
I was gonna keep him. The my last one's the one is the is the uh the one that no one saw coming. I got a number four right here. I got the good old. See, I'm tied between a couple here, but I think I think if I go with this one, it's pretty safe. I'm gonna go with Courage, Cowardly Dog. That was always a good one. One of my favorites. And yeah, no, I, I think that's I think that's good for fourth for fourth uh, fourth round easy. That that's a pretty good one. Okay, for my fifth and final pick is one that I knew you weren't gonna take. <laughs> well, confidence. One that I'm not sure anyone else knows about. One that when I was making this list, I thought maybe I made this thing up. <laughs> But the Foster's Home for Imaginary Kid or for Imaginary Friends. That's oh, what it was called. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Dude, I loved me and my brother. We weren't allowed to watch Disney. They got to a point where we weren't um allowed to watch much um w- we're allowed to watch much like Nickelodeon stuff. And so we started watching a lot of Cartoon Network. And I thought like other shows when they were dumb, but the show me my brother liked the most was Foster's Home for Imaginary Kids. Imaginary Kids, Imaginary Friends. I think Imaginary Friends. Yeah, Imaginary Friends. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. it's my. It's like my like. I've never really heard much people talk about it. Like you know, you hear cor- Courage, Cat Dog, yeah. Ed <laughs> well. and Eddie. Well, I'm giving you some. Uh, that may maybe be my fifth pick <laughs> for my fifth and final pick. I, I was going with something else, but I think you just sprung cat dog out and that was what I was thinking. And I think maybe that's what I just need to go with. The good old cat dog. So, All right. I, yeah. so our teams or I'll say my team and you can say your team. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Mine is Spongebob, you know, oh. he's the captain of the team, the star, the LeBron, you might say. And then the Michael Jordan, <laughs> Looney Tunes, literally. Um, oh. Then then the guy who took the the Kobe, the guy who took the game to the next level, oh. then Alan Iverson, maybe, Avatar. Oh, my god! Then the OG, Bob the Builder. <laughs> and the guy no one saw coming. Father's Home for Imaginary Friends. Oh my gosh. This guy. I started out with Scotty Pippen. Fairly Odd Parents. Second round pick. What did I say second? Oh my gosh. Bro, I'm blanking. What did I say? Do you remember? That wasn't Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, was it? No, that was third. I'm straight blanking right now. Third, I had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, you fairly all parents was number one. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh, I'm straight blanking. It was a big one, too. It wasn't just something like, oh, Tom and Jerry. Boom. Tom and Jerry. We got your cat and mouse, Tom and Jerry. Third, we got those artists formerly known as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And we got your good old Courage Cowardly Dog. And then we got Cat Dog. We got two dogs and a mouse and a, and cat. a cat. And we got two, two cats. cats. We got some turtles. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some honorary mentions, you know, Veggie Tales, we talked about beforehand. Easily could have been oh, yeah, easily. Spot. Um,. Oh, what was that Titan show? Titan? Yeah, with like Robin and all of them. Like they lived in like a they lived in like a tower. Oh, Teen Titans. Teen I Titans. did think about that one and I sh- that was a good one. Um, Transformers Ed dog. Ed Ed and Eddie, that was a good one. Transformers. Um, yeah, so many we could that we didn't make. Let us know in the comments below who you think won or in our Discord. Hop in our Discord. Right. Let us know who won. Give us your top five. Give Preach. us your five. Give us your five that you would have picked. Let us know who we missed. 
Dang, bro. I'm you know, pretty I'm pretty sure you might have won that one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Bob the Builder. <laughs> yeah, dude. Freaking Bob the Builder, bro. I think you might have won that one right there. What do you think, guys? Yeah, Bob the Builder. <laughs> uh okay, guys. I started off strong my top three strong. <laughs> then you and just four, you might even say Bob the Builder, OG you, Little Kid Show. You just hit him with the it is, you're right. You're right. Uh and then, then that last one, you know, there are probably better ones, but that's the one that, like, I remember being, like, hyped for as a kid. Oh, yeah. Nah, there's there's definitely better ones. But... Yeah, like, like the one, all the honorable mentions probably should have yeah. gone over that last one. Dragon Tales. I don't know if you remember Dragon oh, Tales. Oh, Dragon Tales. Dragon Tales was a good one. There's another Cyber one that... Chase. What was that? Cyber Chase. Oh, that was a good one. Um, I was almost about to put in what's her name, um, the Magic School Bus. Um, I thought about Powerpuff Girls. Oh, that's a good one too, Powerpuff Girls. Oh my gosh, so many good ones. So many so good. Many good also, ones. if you like this draft content, shout out to uh, oh, I'm forgetting their names now, but on TikTok, something with a basketball in it is their name. Oh, bro, it, yeah, everyone's doing this, but they, they like you said, I they think everyone's like started it. Yeah. Then. And shout out to them. Um, I thought it was a great idea to throw in the podcast um, and give our own takes on things. So let us know what you want to see us draft next, whether it's movies, video games. Whatever you want. Yeah. That was that was Jimmy's shout out, my shout out. Shout out to my mom. Thanks for giving birth to me. And yeah, see ya.